Welcome everybody, this is uh, week three of the English 101 course. Uh, this week is going to be a little bit easier than most, hopefully. Um, there's only a couple things you have to do. Um, I'm actually at my classroom right now, so I don't have the ability to show uh, share my screen. Uh, but nonetheless, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, this week, the very first thing you're going to want to do is, first of all, get your paper back. Um, you should have it back by now. I mean, this is Friday when I'm recording this, but you should have it back by the time it, this video posts on Monday. Um, as a matter of fact, everyone should have their papers back by Sunday. Um, on that paper, you're going to see a number of revisions, and you're going to see uh, a number of suggestions, a number of changes we made. Um, I'm going to focus this time on organization. Um, however, I will make suggestions for your thesis uh, as well, but that won't be uh, as heavy of an emphasis. Uh, so the very first thing you want to do is look at that paper that I give you back. Um, after that, you're then going to want to look at how to write a college paper, uh, the college paper revision process. It's a video. It's the very first in the lineup. Um, and in that paper, it kind of shows you uh, the stages of the writing process and kind of goes through um, how revising works and, and things to, to look out for. Um, it, it, one thing particular about this video, though, is that she refers to using sources. And since this is a reflective narrative, um, I didn't think that you needed to use sources necessarily. In a, in a traditional sense, you could have, uh, but you definitely weren't required to uh, for this assignment. After you've watched that video and checked out uh, your own paper and gotten those revisions and those suggestions, the next thing would be to actually make the changes uh, that you see fit for your paper. Um, once complete, then you can come to the final draft submission block and take a look at the rubric, make sure that you have gotten everything that you want out of it and that you think you fall within the, well, whatever range you want to fall in, whether that be 10, uh, 8, 6, 4, 2, or 0. Uh, let's see, after that, um, you have somewhat of a bit, somewhat frustrating uh, of an assignment after that. When I say frustrating, uh, for most people, if you've already done it, then um, fantastic, but in the future, what I would like to do is set up video chats. Um, that way we can go through the revision process face to face. We can read the papers and we can get suggestions um, in real time. So the next assignment you'll see under uh, final draft submission block is to um, contribute to a discussion board that's called Let's Get, uh, Let's Get Skype or Google Plus Hangouts Working. And so the reason I called it that is because those are the two primary uh, forms of video chat that I use and they seem to be the two most reliable. Uh, so I gave you the option of using either one. Uh, Google Plus Hangouts and uh, Skype, they both require a username and password to be created, so you have to create an account um, on both, but they are both free. Um, so under that discussion board, uh, you have three questions. Uh, number one says, test out at least one of these proposed video uh, service softwares outlined above. Uh, the URLs to each of the website slash software downloads can be found below and that's uh, plus.google.com or skype.com. And then after you do that, you're either going to do either 2A or 2B. 2A is that if you have no troubles and you install Skype or Google Plus Hangouts and you get both of them or one of them at least working, then you can just say, I got it working, I have no, tro no, no problems, anything. If that's not the case, which I suspect, suspect to be for <laughs> a number of people, then you'll do 2B. Um, if you're having trouble in getting one of the services working, uh, here you post a description of the trouble that you're having, and as a class, we'll work together and try and solve that issue. And of course, if we can't, um, we'll contact IT and, and kind of get you going there. Um, and number three, after you've done either 2A or 2B, then you share a date and time that you would be available to video chat with members uh, from the course regarding the development of your next writing project. And so one of the things <coughs> is that not in week three, but in week four, I'd like to get together and kind of go through the planning phase um, for all of our, our um, writing project two, which will be an analysis paper. Um, and so I'll explain that next week in the intro video, but for this week, uh, just start thinking about a time and a date that you would be available, and uh, let's, let's do three times and dates, that way I can kind of mix and match with people um, from my courses. Um, I teach actually two English 101 classes, and so if a majority of people or a number of people can't um, make a certain date, um, I'm going to try and mesh you guys together. Um, so you might be with people from a different class, but um, they're in the same class, just a different section. Um, so that is 
this week. Um, aside from the discussion board, there's actually two videos that you can watch. One's how to set up Skype, the other is how to set up Google Hangout, uh, depending on which one you want to use. You definitely don't have to use one over the other, it's just whichever you prefer. Um, and in this case, probably whichever one's easier for you to download and get installed. Um, you will need a webcam. Um, what a lot of people do is they use their phones, because you can actually use your phone, especially if you have a camera. Um, and you can use Skype and Google Hangouts uh, via your phone. So that might be an easier route for a lot of people. Um, the videos that I put up, however, were to install it on um, PC and Mac uh, computers. Um, so if you're using your phone to do it, uh, you can definitely contact me and I can hopefully help you out with that. Um, other than that, that's all you have for this week. So in a nutshell, you're turning in your final draft after you've taken a look at the revisions that I've suggested. Um, and then you're going to do the discussion board to where you either let us know that you've gotten Skype or Google Hangouts working, or you're having trouble and you describe those problems to us. And then you give me three date and times uh, that you would be available next week, uh, that is week four, to uh, meet up to kind of go over, the, over the, the revision, or excuse me, the planning process for your writing project too. So if you have any questions, as always, feel free to post them. Uh, you can email me or you can contact me via Skype, um, text, call, whatever you need to do. Um, so keep the questions coming and uh, enjoy the rest of the semester.